NASA's administrator, Dr. James Fletcher, flew out to California to explain the new space shuttle system to President Nixon. In a statement announcing his decision to go ahead with the system, the president said it will revolutionize transportation into near space by routinizing it. He also said it will take the astronomical costs out of astronautics, although the estimated cost is five and a half billion dollars over the next six years. The shuttle itself is actually launched riding piggyback on two rockets, although it's about the size of a DC-9 passenger plane. The two rockets drop off after launch and fall into the ocean where they're supposed to float until rescued for reuse. Meantime, the shuttle has reached orbit after separation and is in effect in free flight. It can stay in space for up to 30 days before landing for reuse, while the four men aboard work on projects ranging from predicting the weather through researching methods of harnessing the sun's energy. President Nixon is especially pleased that the shuttle can be used as a space rescue vehicle, and it's being designed to dock with Soviet-built space stations. Dr. Fletcher estimated that some 50,000 jobs will be created in the aerospace industry by the space shuttle system, at least half of them in this area. It was the second time in two days that President Nixon had announced a big federal project with a favorable economic impact on this key state. Robert Pierpoint, CBS News, with the Presidential Party in California.